Time to play with some clay. I'm just getting ready to uh, edit some video from today. And I wanted to stop and uh, ask you to do something. Like, subscribe, click the bell, and make a comment in my videos. And check out my instructional DVDs, which are linked below this uh, video. All right, let's get on with today's video. All right, I've left off the clay down in Jackson Hole. I was gonna video. I videoed the whole trip. But the video came out really bad. So I'm going to, uh, today I'm going to start working on redoing his face. I'm not happy with it at all. And what I'm going to do is do it separate from the uh, body by doing it on this board here. And I've got it plotted out the same size as the head on him. So that I can uh, match the size of his head. And we'll see if that works out. I'll uh, continue this upstairs in my study. Well, my bedroom. <laughs> All right, be back. So anyway, I've just uh, decided to redo that face. And I'm sorry if my hand gets in the way, but I've only got one camera and one way to mount it, so. Anyway, I'm gonna start this face and uh, It's late at night. That's why I'm doing it up here in my bedroom. Yesterday we spent, uh, a friend of mine and I spent all day on the road going to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I wasn't sure that whether I could drive the whole distance because of my eyes but I managed to uh, drive the whole distance so I didn't need the uh, person with me to help me drive I took video but the camera was set at the wrong setting so all the video came out bad I got a few photographs I'll show them here The sound you hear behind in the background is uh, my air conditioner. This apartment has air conditioning, which is a godsend when it's hot. I'm just blocking in the face right now. I had to go up to uh, Virginia City that earlier today and I was called up to be a juror or called up for jury duty and they didn't pick me which is fine with me interesting experience though Alright, I'll be back in a few minutes and when I get a little further along. Boy, this is taking a very delicate touch. <laughs> Believe me. This small, you're working in moving molecules of clay, clay around. And I'm trying to build an emotion in his face. And at this size, it's 
seems almost impossible, even if it isn't. Just take time and tons of patience. And you kind of hope that uh, even if you're sculpting this separate from your clay, the main clay, that you're at least getting a little bit of it right. While I was at the uh, gallery, I took pictures of a couple of bronzes I've never even gotten pictures of because they were cast at a different foundry, and I never really saw the finished bronzes until yesterday, and I was really happy the way they all turned out. Two of them are life-size, and one was about half life-size. I just did a sculpture of Crazy Horse. And the uh, half-life size, one is uh, his cousin, touched the clouds. In fact, it was touched the clouds that was sitting by the teepee door when the irate husband stuck his pistol in and tried to shoot Crazy Horse in the head. And he deflected the gun just enough so he just grazed his cheek. Test clouds was well over six feet tall too. Not not the finished bronze, but he was about six over six feet tall. <clears throat> All right, I'll come back. When I get a little further along. Alright everybody, I'm going to call this quits tonight. And, uh, come back to it tomorrow. I think I'm going to come back tomorrow. I may, may have to go to Bozeman. I have been putting it off. But I'm going to try to get this... Actually, I'm going to wait and go to Bozeman next week because I'd like to take this clay of the uh, warrior and the girl to the foundry and get a bit on it so that I can take it down to Jackson Hole and have it uh, priced out for me so that I can try to sell some over the winter over the summer I mean all right good night everybody and I'll See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.